morning and Hilton Coliseum is celebrating 50 years up in Ames this year. It opened its doors back on December 2nd, 1971 with a men's basketball victory over Arizona. Our Natalie Painter is live with us this morning in Ames with more on how the university is honoring this 50 year mark and the memories made over all these years. Hi, Natalie. Hello, Jody. Good morning. I spoke with the senior associate athletic director here at ISU, who also happens to be an ISU alumnus, and he said that while college athletics have changed quite a bit over the years, it's the Cyclones fans and athletes that have made this place behind me so unique over the years. Our fans, our student athletes and coaches uh, have done a tremendous job of defending home court, if you will, and all the sports that have played there. And we look forward to celebrating many of the great moments in Hilton over the course of this season. This started during the volleyball season. It'll carry through the basketball, wrestling, and gymnastics seasons. Now, with various ways to honor the anniversary, there will be memorable videos posted to social media to honor athletes over the years. And they are looking for ways to identify people who have held season basketball tickets for all 50 years and trying to recognize them near the end of the season. Now, when it comes to sharing memories, Iowa sports fans always have a favorite, especially when it comes to what it means to be an Iowa State basketball fan. My favorite moment, um, I was a freshman uh, here at Iowa State in 1983, and Barry Stevens uh, hit a jump shot uh, in overtime to beat Missouri. And that really launched Coach Orr and the program uh, on its way uh, and turned into some really great more moments down the road. Now, Jody, fans can share their memories and photos online at Cyclones.com as, well so, as well as on social media like Instagram and Twitter with the hashtag Hilton50. And I will say this is my first experience here at an ISU sports complex. And while it was empty yesterday, I do have a feeling that you really got to go to a game and you can't really experience that Hilton magic until you see it firsthand. It's true. You're a Big Ten girl. Come over to the Big 12 side <laughs> and get a feeling for what uh, Hilton magic is all about. Natalie, thanks so much for that report. 50 years. Wow. It, yeah, Natalie went to Minnesota Williams Arena, uh, an older arena than that. that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, Hilton Coliseum is getting up there and it's something that means a lot to fans when they have uh, an arena where they have memories, um, whether it's as a student or for a lot of these Cyclone fans, they grew up with their parents bringing them to games. Yeah. They remember being a kid in that arena and then maybe being a, a student at Iowa State and now just a fan outside of school. So it's so important to keep these old arenas in circulation, but of course, keep them updated and Iowa State has updated Hilton Coliseum a lot. Yep, 50 more years in store for them for sure. All right, we're heading over.